What's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be installing a, a new side skirt lip for my car. Um, I bought this from uh, Facebook uh, as an impulse buy so I was selling it for a rather cheap price so uh, I went and picked it up. Um, a little bit of a backstory here, I actually had a, a, a side skirt lip uh, months and months ago but unfortunately the side skirt itself uh, fell off on the highway so I lost uh, that one side of the uh, the uh, side skirt in the lip so um, I got rid of it the other side I got rid of the other side and now I'm going to be uh, replacing it with uh, these these used ones I got so let's get to it I'm gonna jack up the car I'm gonna be taking out the Aeroflow side diffuser and then installing the lip and then putting the diffuser underneath it make it look uh, give it this aggressive uh, look to it. All right, so I managed to remove the uh, side skirt from the car. It was relatively easy, but as expected, you know, a few clips uh, tend to break when you remove it. Um, actually, this was already broken uh, from underneath, so I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, but fortunately, I already went to Subaru and picked up a couple, a few uh, extra clips to replace any broken ones. So I'm gonna test fit the side skirt to this one and then give all these parts a wash and then um, try to line it all up, line up all the holes and uh, install the, the, the whole piece. So I have the, uh, the side splitter off, and if you notice in the time lapse, I have these extra, uh, extra long uh, screws already uh, being used on them. Uh, the reason for that is um, I bought the side skirt its extension from my friend Eric, who had the same setup where he had the extension and then uh, he had a carbon fiber uh, side skirt lip. Uh, and then and then the OEM side skirt all there. So he needed an extra long screw so that it goes through the diffuser or sorry the yeah the uh, splitter and the, the side skirt lip itself. But what I'm gonna do is use the uh, the screws that came from uh, came with the lip itself and uh, mount uh, those uh, self tapping screws into the OEM side skirt. Uh, and then use these bolts for the diffuser and the reason I'm doing that is um, just for extra uh, strength in holding all that weight on, on that uh, OEM yeah, side skirt. So I've test fitted it and this is uh, how it's going to look uh, roughly. Don't mind the gap there. Uh, and the, the lip seems to fit uh, very well. Nice and flush as you can see here nice and flush so I'm gonna clean up these parts put it all together and then see what's what Okay, so I have both side skirts uh, washed and I noticed that it looks a little faded uh, compared to the 
rear spats that I have here. Um, with these rear spats, I actually spray painted it uh, with this. Matte black. So for them to match up, I'm gonna do the same. Uh, just gonna put some extra effort into uh, making this look good. So I'm gonna wipe this down with some alcohol and then spray paint a couple of coats on there and should be good to go. All right, so I did one pass with the compound and here's the 50-50 the shot. Uh, on the right is, um, haven't touched it, haven't polished it. On this side, as you can see, it's already nice and glossy. All that haziness is gone. Uh, there's a lot of still, like still a lot of like deep scratches in there, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, as long as it, it gets uh, nice and glossy again. Uh, I'll be satisfied. Uh, unfortunately, this is not like car paint where there's a clear coat on the top. Uh, this is just, I think, just straight up uh, either powder coat or, or, or uh, enamel paint. And at the cost of my orange pad, um, yeah, was it worth it? Eh, I was gonna get rid of these pads anyway and get the, uh, the new microfiber uh, versions of these pads. So. Not too, not too worried about that. So I'm gonna finish off the this side of the or this litter, and when I take off the other one, I'm gonna do the same uh, on the other side. All right, I put like three coats on the uh, side lip extension, or yeah, side lip extension, and it's looking nice and matte black now, uh, and um, I. Given that um, painting is the worst DIY skill that I have, uh, it's not too bad. A few high spots here and there, but whatever. It'll live. I'm happy with this. Right, so I'm ready to assemble all the pieces back together. Uh, the strategy I'm going to go here with is first install this lip onto this using the, uh, sc the uh, screws that it came with. And then uh, turn it upside down and then see how I can mount that underneath this. So let's see what I can do with this. Okay, so I have the lip installed. A few minor gaps here and there, but uh, it's not gonna be too noticeable when, when it's installed in the car. Uh, so I've uh, come up with a plan on how to fit the uh, side skirt extension, or sorry, the side skirt splitter to this whole piece. So the plan is there are the pre-existing drilled holes here, right there right here and so on so i'm gonna drill i'm gonna drill out these holes put the side skirt extension underneath there and put a couple of bolts through to see how far it extends here to see if if it's uh, uh you know it extends as far as i i want it to i definitely want the aeroflow uh logo to show up here at least so i'm gonna see how this goes. All right, so I have the extension right here. Let's put it over, line up the holes. See how, how it looks. So I'm gonna grab one of these uh, uh, nuts and bolts with the washers on them and 
put this underneath. That goes through here. Grab the other one. two holes drilled out just to test fit and I like how much this is extending to be honest and you can still see the airflow logo just barely just barely there I'll put my washers through there and there and I move I gotta move this screw other than that I think I got this All right, so it's time to test fit. I got all the bolts in there tightened. So let's see how this goes. That looks so aggressive. I'm loving this. So a little gap here. Ah, what can you do? A little one here too. It's alright. Not too noticeable. That's pretty much how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna put these clips back in. Um and make sure everything's tightened up. And then I'm gonna move on to the other side and then I'll put the car back on the ground and we'll have a, a look from further away to see the final, the final, uh, the final look. So I finished the install. It went relatively uh, smoothly and uh, I love the look of it. The results speak for itself. It looks so aggressive. It's actually like inch lower to the ground. So I'm gonna have trouble putting the jack underneath, but that's okay. That low life though. So stay tuned for the next video. Like, share, follow uh, my YouTube channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.